So I get this question asked a lot, at least three to four times a week by people asking me how to install a valley seal. Um, normally these jobs are too small for us to do. Just there's not enough profit margin for us to come out and install valley seal. Um, unless we're doing like a roof restoration or a major roof repair, like rebedding and repointing. But just to install valley seal, it's, it's just not enough for us. So I'm gonna show you how you guys can purchase it from us and install it yourself. It's very simple. Um, normally the proper way to do it is take the, the tiles, the cut tiles out and install the valley seal and then put the new tiles back on top. But in this case for homeowners and do-it-yourself people, I'm just gonna show you a fast and simple and quick way to do it. You don't, you don't even need knee pads, but I recommend using knee pads because you'll bust your knees trying to put these things in. Um, you can use a flat head screwdriver, but I'm just gonna use a trowel today just to show you how easy it is to be done. All right, so this is the valley seal. This comes in two meter lamps. It's 50 mil gauge. So let's show you how simple it is. There's multiple ways to install valley seal. The most common practice that we see is 20 to 30 mil from the finished valley cut tiles. I personally prefer to push the valley seal right up against the return lip. The reason why I do this is because in my eyes it's a lot more aesthetically pleasing. And when we perform the water test with a hose, we notice a lot less backlogging and overflowing within the roof cavity when it's right up against the return lip. There are also other methods like repointing over the storm seal to mimic a wet valley. It is a good finish but it's an old style i personally don't like it but hey people still use it and if they're happy to do it i'm happy for them you can also spray the valley seal with a water-based paint like an acrylic volumar roof paint um, i honestly thought that you can't do this because i thought the pigments in the paint will block their bitumen infused foam and will make it crumble and break apart over time but after doing some research, apparently this doesn't happen and the valley steel is still compliant and it will work effectively. The storm seal is a open cell design wall, which does not hold moisture. So it, you don't need to install weep holes when you install this product. And also it won't cause rusting in the metal, which is a common question asked. Because the bitumen doesn't hold any water, it won't rust the metal from behind the valley. It has also been fire tested and does comply with all relevant Australian standards, which is a good product to use, especially nowadays. Also, another good thing about this product, when it does get hot, the bitumen adhesion glue or whatever is in the product does cause it to become very sticky, which helps lock the cut valley tiles in place, which helps the tiles um, not move during heavy wind and environmental loads kind of mimics a mechanical fastener, which is a very good thing to have. In this video, I'm demonstrating how easy it is for someone to do it themselves. Just a typical homeowner, someone that has no trade skills. It is very simple to do. In this video, I'm just using a gauging trail just by lifting the tiles and placing them underneath. Obviously, the proper way to do it is to remove the tiles, install the valley seal, and then relay the tiles on top and install the mechanical fastener clips. But in this case, this will work just, just the same uh, as long as you get the valley seal where you want it to be sitting. And there you go. I'm showing you now in slow motion how I like to install my valley seal. I like it right up against the return lip, nice and flush. Also, it's a lot more aesthetically pleasing because you cannot see a black foam sticking out of the tiles. The storm seal in my case is right up against the return lip and sitting on a main recess course line that's profiled inside the valley, which also helps water flow. Make sure to check out our website at jsouroofing.com. Go on to our online store. Under Valley Seal, we sell bundles. The minimum order is 24 lineal meters. Um, if you need more than that, there should be multiple options you can choose from. The maximum you can purchase is 100 lineal meters at a time. If you need more than that, please contact us directly and we can organize a better price for you.